All right, what is up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops, fix latency and network issues, everything like that. I'm going to show you guys all of that in this video. So make sure to stay tuned for the entire thing. And if this does help you, leave a like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm not going to waste your time. First thing we're going to do is create a restore point. Now, basically what this is, is if you finish all the steps in this video and you don't like what you have or something goes wrong with your PC, you can go back to that restore point that you created and it will just reset everything you did in this video. So how you can do that is go to your little search bar in Windows here and just switch up restore point and create a restore point should show up. Just click on that and leave it on the uh, C drive or like your main drive. You don't have to do anything there. And then click create at the bottom here. And usually for a title, what I do is just put the date. So for me, it's December 14th. So just do that. Press create. And it should take like a minute or two. All right. So once that's finished, just press close and press OK. And first here, I'm going to load up Fortnite. Just to give you guys some in-game settings that I prefer. And what you're going to do is make sure your game is loaded in DirectX 11 or 12. It doesn't matter. But basically, this is because the X12 has some settings that performance mode doesn't. And those do like transfer over when you're in performance mode. So like I said, just make sure you are in DX12 or 11. All right, so I'm in Fortnite now. Uh, like I said, I'm in DirectX 12. So go into your settings here. And I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So starting at display here. Uh, for window mode, obviously put this on full screen. This just helps with FPS stutters and your latency. So like I said, full screen is the best way to go. Uh, resolution, mainly just put it as your monitor's like base resolution. So mine's a 1080p monitor. So obviously I have it on 1920 by 1080. Uh, V-Sync, never put this on. Just keep it off, always. Uh, frame rate, you can mess around with this if you want. Mine's on 160. Uh, I have a 165 hertz monitor, so the difference between like five extra FPS isn't that much, so I just keep it below. Yeah, usually what you should do though is put your frame rate limit one above your refresh rate. So if you have a 144 hertz monitor, put it on 160. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, put it on 120, and so on. Or like I said, you can just mess around with it and do what you like. Uh, for rendering mode, when you're done with this video, make sure to put it back on performance mode, obviously for the best performance. Yeah, DirectX 12 is pretty good now, I'm not gonna lie, like FPS wise. So I would use that if you have a newer GPU over DX11. But if you do have an older uh, GPU, try DX11 too. So for graphics and like brightness and all that stuff, these don't affect your performance. So brightness, I have mine on 150. Uh, colorblind mode, this doesn't affect performance either. So just mess around with this. I'm using off for the season just because it honestly looks best in my opinion. Or you could use Triton Nope, which is makes everything look a lot more vibrant. Motion blur, turn this off. This reduces performance and it just makes it look kind of bad unless you want to go for like quality. And then for graphics quality down here, there's a lot more settings now than there used to be. So for anti-aliasing, just turn this off. Uh, 3D resolution, put this at 100 if you can spare the extra like power but if you uh if you're lagging a lot put it down to like try 80 or 90 and see if that works but try 100 it just makes the game look a lot better uh dynamic 3d resolution turn this off the nanite turn this off shadows off global illumination make sure that's off reflections turn that off view distance you can put this on far or epic if you want if you play competitive just so you can see things better but usually turn that on near uh textures put this on low effects low Post processing on low and ray tracing of course on low and then show up ps uh you can turn this on if you want i honestly would for this video just to help you uh keep track of things and nvidia reflex low latency i'm going to show you guys something later as well that could interfere with this so for now i just keep it off and not turn it on at all and then one more setting over here in the game settings go all the way down until you find replays and turn all of these off and then just click save and then make sure you do go back into your settings here and click on performance mode and you can restart your game. Okay, so next, while we're on the topic of Fortnite, we're going to go into the Epic Games Launcher. So just find wherever it's installed, wherever you have it. Click on your library. And when you're in your library, you see Fortnite. Click on the three dots here. Then click on options and this should show up. So for these, mine might look a little bit different than you guys want yours to. Just because I was playing Lego Fortnite and I wanted the graphics on high. So make sure every single one of these is checked off, except for pre-download streamed assets and obviously Battle Royale, which you can't change. So yeah, turn off all of these. So DirectX 12 shaders, high resolution textures, and save the world and click apply. Now this will basically just make your game a lot smaller. Like as you can see, high res textures, this 15 gigs. So that will take off a lot of gigabytes in your game, which will just make it run a little bit better. When you're done that, click apply. And this should do a little like install thingy, but it shouldn't take long. Then you can just close out of there. All right, so our first settings in our PC here we're going to change is going into our temp files. So these are just temporary files that our PC does not use anymore, and they just take up uh, storage. And if you guys have never done this before, there'll probably be a lot of them, and it will take up a lot of storage. So I'm going to show you guys three different methods on how to do this, uh, which is just three different files. So so first one, going into your search bar in Windows. So click that, and type in percentage temp 
percentage and open that up. Now it should look similar to this, uh, just a bunch of random files so you don't even know what they are. So all you're going to do is click on Control A and Control D just to delete these all. And mine was about a gigabyte. So like I said, if you've never done this before, yours will probably be a lot bigger. So just wait for that to delete. And if something like this shows up uh, where they're asking for access or just this, click on skip and close up of that. And the next thing we're going to do is in the run command. So click Windows key and R. And so basically just open this little run uh, thing up here. So all you're going to do is type in temp again, but no percentages this time. Click OK and delete all of these as well. And then one more in the run thing. Type in prefetch. It's OK. And, and it might ask for access. So just if it's asked for that, press OK and clear all the files in here as well. All right, moving on, we're going to make sure our PC and our drivers are updated. So how to check if your PC is updated. Obviously, go into your settings here. Click settings, or you could just search it up in the uh, search bar again. Then when you're here, go to Windows Update. And for me, I have an update ready. I'm not going to do it yet, though, because I'm recording. Basically, just check for updates. Make sure your PC is up to date. You can do it so it automatically updates for you, like when you're not using your PC, like overnight or just anything like that. But I recommend turning that off because it could do it sometimes when you're like playing a game or just doing something important. Could lead to performance issues. When you're done this video, or if you want right now, you could just restart this and come back. But yeah, like I said, make sure your PC is always up to date. And then speaking of updates, we can go into our GeForce experience over here. So click this in the system tray. Click on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you don't have this, you can download it if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And if you have an AMD one, I'm sure it's pretty similar. So just go into your AMD software where you get your drivers. Okay, so I'm in NVIDIA GeForce Experience here. And all you have to do to download a new driver is click on download here. And it should just take you through a little installation. And when it does pop up, click Express Installation. And also make sure in the top right here that you're on the game ready driver and not the studio one, as those are better for like editing and just Photoshop and all that stuff. And these are better for obviously gaming. So yeah, like I said, make sure that's checked on game ready driver and if you scroll down here if you don't have the newest version you scroll down to see what uh version you have installed and i'm going to show you guys one more version on how to get it as well that's a pretty stable version now i can't get it because i'm on windows 11 but i know it's available for windows 10 so like i said i'm going to show you guys how to get that right now just close out of that go into your browser all right so basically just click on the link in the description all you got to do is type in your specs for your like graphics card so I have an RTX 3060, so I'll just look for RTX 30 series, and I'll look for the RTX 3060. And I'm on Windows 11, so mine might look a little bit different than yours. Leave Windows driver type on DCH, whatever the default is, and just leave everything else default. Click search. Now these are all the ones that I have available because I'm on Windows 11, like I said, so I'm pretty sure I can't get older versions. Yeah, you can do your research if you don't want to use the one that I have in the description. You can watch some YouTube videos on the best driver for your specific graphics card or whatever. Yeah, that's all you have to do to do it. And I'm going to show you guys how to remove your old drivers that you have so it doesn't lead to problems and lag and all that stuff with your graphics cards. So all you're going to do, I'm going to leave another link in the description. It's called DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller. And all that is, is just a software where you can completely clean your PC of old GPU drivers, like I said, to help with issues. And it just lets you install a fresh one. So click that link and download it. Now I can't launch uh, DDU right now, it's, this is a pending reboot, so sorry about that, but if you want to get a full tutorial on it, I'll just give you a quick rundown, like I said, or you can just watch another YouTube video, it's pretty simple, but make sure to run your PC in safe mode, it's recommended to do that, just in case anything happens to your Windows or just something like that. So yeah, run it in safe mode, and open DDU again, and just click on uninstall. That's probably hard to follow, so like I said, just watch your own YouTube video on how to do that. Yeah, just make sure if you are installing a new driver and you're gonna have the old ones left in your PC, just to do that, just to help with your graphics card. All right, so next, this is a little tip that could help you, could not. So what we're gonna do is go into our search bar again, and just search up appearance here. And as you can see, mine's down here, it's adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, so click that, and it should look something like this. So mine is on custom, because there's some things that I don't want, there's some things that I do. So you can copy mine if you want, but if you really need the performance, then just click adjust for best performance. If you do that, I do recommend to turn on smooth edges on screen fonts because this will basically just make your fonts look really weird and jagged. So yeah, just turn that on and click apply. And then another thing that is related to your disk drives is this little thing right here called defragment and optimized drives. So open that. If you can't find it, search it up here, like I said. And as you can see, I have two drives. So I have my SSD and I have my hard drive. So my hard drive is my Windows is installed on, and then I just have this for like games and stuff, but make sure to never optimize and like defragment your SSD only on a hard drive. So if you do have an SSD, make sure you turn off scheduled optimization. So right here, as you can see, it's turned on for me. Let's turn that off. And like I said, only do this for your hard drive. So click on analyze and it should automatically optimize it. Now, depending on the last time you've done this, or if you've ever done this, it should take maybe an hour or two. So I recommend doing it if you go to sleep or something and just leave your PC on because it works best when you have nothing running. So optimize that whenever you want. Like I said, it will take a while, so you can do it now if you want. But when you're done that, close out of there. 
And then one more thing similar to that is called disk cleanup. So it's this little thing right here. Just search up disk cleanup in your search bar and it should show up. So click on that. Click on the drive you want to clean up. Click OK. And all it's doing here is just calculating whatever you able to free up. So this should show up. And you're just going to click clean up system files. Click on your C drive, whatever you want to use. And check whatever you want to get rid of. So you can see on the right side here how much space it will clean up. So for me, there's not too much. But yeah. Just do whatever you want to do. Uh, if there's some that have like a lot of gigabytes that can be free, then just click them, click OK, and it'll just clear those up. Now, none of these are really going to affect your PC. Like I'm saying, like what I mean by that is it won't do any harm. So feel free to delete whatever you want. Just click OK, and that should take maybe 5-10 minutes, depending on how much you clean up. All right, so next thing we're going to do is turn off our startup apps. So I'm going to show you guys two methods how to do this. One of them being in our task manager and one of them being in our Windows settings. So go over here, go into your settings. And just search up find a setting, search up app, click on startup apps, and whatever you want here, whatever you don't want, just click on on or off. If you don't use them, I recommend turning them off because they can make an impact on whether PC starts up fast or slow. And also these will run in the background if you have them on. Just keep that in mind. Like I said, if you don't use them, just keep them off. So once you've done that, close it to there. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it inside of a uh, task manager. So right click your taskbar on task manager and then over here on the left side click on startup apps and it's pretty much the same thing here just looks a little bit different so all you gotta do is right click on whatever you want to enable or disable click enable and go through every single one of these they probably will be similar to the ones in your windows so most of these probably will be disabled so once you're done there you can just close out you don't have to save anything and you are good all right so next thing we're gonna go into our discord if you do use discord if you don't you could skip over this but most of you guys will have your discord overlay on so how you can find this is go to your settings Go all the way down until you see game overlay and simply just turn this off. You honestly don't need this unless you really do need this and you like it, then you can keep it on. But like I said, you don't really need it. And then for advanced over here in the tab, like just a bit above it, you can turn on or off hardware acceleration. Basically all it does when you have it on, it just makes Discord run a little bit smoother, which uses more GPU power. So if you are struggling for FPS in game, turn this off and see if it works for you. All right, so another app I can get you to download. Uh, this isn't a virus, it's fine. You can run it through a virus scanner. Just check for yourself if you're like skeptical of it. I'll leave a link for this in the description. And it's called Process Lasso. And all this does is allows you to like tweak apps, set the priority high, like a lot of stuff to check on your PC's performance and all that. Also, it lets you choose what you want to start up on your PC and just stuff like that. So, so click the link, uh, click download free and open it up when you're done. So what you're going to do here, uh, when you do have an active process, it will show up, like for an example, Fortnite. So make sure to open Fortnite and click on, I'll just use Epic Games Launcher for an example. So right click it, click on CPU priority and click on always and make sure to put it on high. Then also go to CPU affinity, click on always and make sure to disable CPU zero. So all of these are enabled and just CPU to zero is off and it will automatically save and it will just do that every time you load up your PC. So you don't have to do that anymore. And this will, when you close, it will show up in the system tray here. So just right click uh, process lasso here and you can enable performance mode or you can disable it, whatever you want to do. Just click on it and a little check should show up. If you want to close it, just click that. So you can mess around with that however you want. You can search up a video on it. I'm not too like experienced with it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just use it for like uh, microphone settings and all that stuff. But yeah, it is pretty helpful. So just make sure to keep that installed. All right, another thing that will help you a lot if you do have the option for it is hardware accelerated GPU, something like that, scheduling. So go to your settings here, search up GPU or graphic settings, whatever. And this should show up. Now, if you don't have it on, click on change default graphic settings. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on and optimizations for windowed games are turned on as well. So go back when you've done that. And all you have to do to add Fortnite for this, so I'll just get rid of it remove make sure that this is on desktop app right here click browse and just go to where your uh, fortnite is installed so for me it's my d drive click on epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 click on the win64 shipping.exe not the be or eac just the uh shipping so click that click add click on options and make sure to click on high performance and that's all you gotta do there and then one more thing kind of similar to that, like in the Fortnite files, I'll show you how to do that quick. Go into your file explorer here. Go to once again where your Fortnite's installed. So let's do the same thing over again. Binaries 164. And then right click on the uh, shipping.exe. Click on properties. Go over to compatibility at the top here. And click on disable full screen optimizations. Click apply. And then click change high DPI settings. And make sure that override high DPI scaling is turned on. Make sure it's on application. Click OK. Apply. And you're good. And then one thing I'm going to do in the command prompt, if you don't know what that is, it's just a little thing in Windows where you can search up CMD. 
and make sure to run it as an administrator so it can take control of your PC and these things will actually work. So if you don't have that as an administrator, it won't actually work. So all you're going to do is switch up SFC space slash scan now with those space. Click enter. And all this will do is just do a system scan of your whole PC and just see if there's any problems. As you can see, I have a pair pending on what that is. I think I have to update my PC. But yeah, this will just take some time, maybe five, ten minutes, and it will just repair some files that are broken. If you do want to see the files that are broken, there's a link that they will leave you uh, just to see what they actually did. So once you've done that, close out of there. And next, I'm going to go into two things, which is disabling game mode and game bar. So how to do that is go to game, search up game mode, click on that, and turning off game mode. This honestly doesn't really do anything in 2023 like it used to. So just turn that off. Okay, so when you've done that, click on gaming over here. Click on game bar and make sure that it's turned off as well. And close out of there. And then lastly, I'm going to go into our NVIDIA control panel. So this is if you have a NVIDIA GPU, like I said earlier. And I'm just going to go through all the settings that I have that are the best for me. So if you want to get there on Windows 11, right click your desktop. Click on show more options and click NVIDIA control panel. Now this is what yours should look like. So if it's on, let the 3D application aside, make sure to click on use the advanced 3D image settings. Click on take me there. And I'm just going to scroll through these and tell you what you should put on and off and all that. So image scaling, turn that off. Ambient occlusion, turn that off. Anastropic filtering, turn that off. Anti-aliasing FXIA, turn that off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, turn that off as well. Anti-aliasing mode, turn that off. And then these two are grayed out for me. They probably are for you too. So just leave those on default. And then background application max frame rate, turn that off. Or you can honestly turn it on if you want, like 30 FPS or 60, just to help with power. Who did you use? Just leave that on default, like all, if you have one GPU. If you have two, you can mess around with that, but most of you probably won't. And then CUDA, SysMem, uh, just put that on driver default. DSR factors, turn that off. DSR smoothness is uh, grayed out. Low latency mode, like I said earlier at the start of the video with your Fortnite settings. If you have that on Ultra on Fortnite, Make sure to turn this off and if you have it on ultra here make sure to turn it off on fortnite just because they can if they're both on clash with each other and just create more issues than solve like i said just do either or don't do both max frame rate turn this off you can put it on if you want usually games nowadays have like an fps cap that you can just use for monitor technology this is preference uh i usually use fixed refresh instead of g-sync because i feel it's more stable multi-frame sampled aa turn this off open gl GDI compatibility, put this on auto, OpenGL rendering GPU, auto select, power management mode, put this on preferred maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, put this on highest available. And then for shader cast size, you can honestly, this is depending on how much storage you have free. So if you have like over 400 gigabytes, maybe or 300 gigabytes, put this on 100 gigabytes. But if you are low on um, storage, put this on default. Texture filtering, anastropic, put this on on. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias, allow. And then texture filtering quality, high performance. And then trilinear optimization, put this on on. Threaded optimization, turn this off. For Fortnite at least, it works better for me. I've noticed my game has been a lot more smooth after I turn this off. Triple buffering, turn this off. Virtual sync, turn this off. And then these just leave default because you don't really need to use them. So when you're done that, click apply and you should be good. And finally, when you're done all those steps, make sure to restart your PC so everything applies. And if this video did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot.